Hey and welcome to the Daily Man United News show. Let's begin with our daily news. Paul Pogba has representative flying to Turin to open talks with Juventus over a return. According to the Telegraph, Manchester United midfielder Paul Pogba has had his representative fly to Turin to meet with Juventus officials regarding a potential return to the club in the upcoming summer transfer window. The player is out of contract with United at the end of the season, which will see him become a free agent in the summer. Thus far, he has shown no indication that he's keen to sign a new deal with the club to keep him in Manchester for a few more years. With the Frenchman into the final few weeks of his current deal with the Red Devils, he's free to speak to foreign clubs regarding a potential move and sign a pre-contract agreement. Juventus seem to be taking full advantage of the situation, hoping to sign the star once again for free. Pogba's representative Rafael Pimenta has flown out to Turin for talks with Juve after receiving an invitation from the club to open negotiations regarding a possible free transfer. The Brazilian lawyer has taken over the agency run by the late Mino Raiola, who was Pogba's agent before him. The France international has also received interest from clubs like Real Madrid, Manchester City and Paris Saint-Germain. Raiola's business partner is expected to talk to Real and PSG, while a move to City looks unlikely given that the player may look for a move abroad. It seems like a case of déjà vu for United fans who are close to witnessing yet another free transfer for Pogba to move to Juventus. Having come through the ranks at the academy, the midfielder was expected to become the next big thing at Old Trafford but instead moved to Juve for free. Now, there may be a chance that the Frenchman stays in Manchester as he may well speak to the club's incoming new manager Eric Ten Hag before deciding his future. It remains to be seen if the new boss is keen to keep Pogba. Anthony Martial dubbed disaster by Spanish press after picking up another injury. It seemed destined to end in tears when Sevilla unveiled Anthony Martial on loan in January. They pulled out all the stops, even getting the Brazilian Ronaldo to welcome him to the club via video message. Sevilla hoped that by treating Martial like a star and showing him plenty of love, they could tap into his talent and take their season up a level. Manchester United fans who had largely given up on Martial watched it with intrigue, wondering if Martial was going to prove them wrong, it seems not. Martial's loan at Sevilla has plunged new death, with it now appearing that he has played his final game for the club. Martial has been a major letdown at Sevilla. He has scored only one goal and no goals in La Liga. Spanish newspaper has run a headline this weekend entitled Martial Disaster, lamenting the forward's disappointing loan. The report states Sevilla's French striker is injured again and is absent against Atletico. It's the third time since he arrived in January, his signing is revealed to be a disaster. After getting injured against Real Madrid in April, Martial made his comeback as a substitute against Mallorca last week. He then pulled out of the match against Atletico this weekend. With muscle discomfort, Sevilla drew the game 1-1. to Sevilla paid around £4 million to sign Martial on loan as report. It was a gamble and one which failed. These regular injuries plagued Martial's last 18 months at Manchester United and also saw him miss the Europa League final and Euro 2020 due to injury. Martial will end his spell at Sevilla with one goal in 12 games. Martial's disaster at Sevilla is likely to mean a lack of suitors for him this summer. Even if Martial may not want to fight for a place at United, getting him off the club's books won't be straightforward. Man United seriously interested in signing Urian Timber. Manchester United are seriously interested in signing Ajax defender Urian Timber this summer, Sky Sport Germany journalist Florian Plettenberg claims. The Red Devils are prioritizing a new centre-back this summer, having had a poor league campaign where they had conceded a staggering 56 goals. A move for Timber has been talked about due to his former association with Eric Ten Hag, and it's now reported that United are seriously interested in securing his services. Bayern Munich have made an approach, but it's said that he could reunite with Ten Hag at Old Trafford. Discussions have already been held with his management over a summer switch. Timber can play as a centre-back or right-back, but he has predominantly operated in the former of those positions for the Dutch Giants. In the recent season, he was hugely impressive with an average of 2.4 tackles and 1.7 interceptions per league game alongside 1.5 aerial duels. He completed over 91% of his passes. 
Timber will undoubtedly face a stiffer challenge with the step up to the Premier League and could be slowly integrated as he adapts to the intensity. At 20, he has plenty of room to improve. Ten Hag handed him his first team chance at Ajax and the Dutchman will know his strength and weakness. In the past, the Red Devils hierarchy have pursued players that don't match with the manager's philosophy, but it won't be the case with Timber. The £27 million pound rated star appears the right profile with a long-term plan in mind. Ten Hag could make him a potential world beater in years to come. Man United offered a major boost in pursuit of 27-year-old midfielder. Manchester United have been offered a boost in their pursuit of Lazio midfielder Sergei Milinkovic Savic. The commanding midfielder has long been linked with a move to Old Trafford. However, after failing to see a transfer materialize, has remained in Italy for the past seven years. Despite that though, with his contract set to expire at the end of next season and his valuation only decreasing over time, this summer could be the time that fans finally see the 27-year-old move on. Speaking recently about the possibility of Milinkovic Savic moving to the English Premier League, Italian super agent and coat of sight columnist Roberto De Fanti believes the Serbia international is destined for Man United. I believe this summer could be the time that Milinkovic Savic leaves Lazio and I won't be surprised if the destination is Manchester United, Defanti wrote in his most recent column. I can say for sure that there are already whispers in the industry that he could move to Old Trafford in time for next season. Confirming that there is every chance the 27-year-old will move on, Lazio manager Mauricio Sarri recently admitted that should the industrious midfielder leave Rome, he's likely to join a foreign club. As reported by Fabrizio Romano on Twitter, Lazio manager Maurizio Sari said, I'm not sure that Sergei Milinkovic Savic will leave this summer, as it's not easy, but I'm convinced that if it happens, Milinkovic will sign for a foreign club and not an Italian one. Since joining Lazio from Hing in 2015, Milinkovic Savic has gone on to feature in 293 matches in all competitions, directly contributing to an impressive 109 goals along the way. Newcastle United ahead of Manchester United in a transfer race for a Premier League star. Newcastle United are reportedly ahead of Manchester United in the transfer race for Leeds United midfielder Calvin Phillips this summer. The England international has shown at Ellen Road and looks like he could be a fine signing for a number of bigger clubs, with a move surely the best thing for his career now after Leeds' struggles against relegation. Whether they stay up or not, Phillips surely needs to make the step up in his career this summer, and Football Insider claim Newcastle and Aston Villa currently look like the leading candidates to snap him up. The report also claims Manchester United have been interested in the 26-year-old, but a move to Old Trafford is seen as less likely. There is surely no chance the Red Devils would be able to lure Phillips to the club at this moment in time. If this homegrown local lad ditched leads for their biggest rivals, it would make him a hated figure at his boyhood club forever. It might be more understandable at a time when Man United were a genuine force in the Premier League and in Europe, but that's far from being the case these days. PSG intensifies negotiations for Mbappé replacement, who's also a serious target for Man United. Paris Saint-Germain have intensified negotiations with Benfica in order to sign Darwin Nunes ahead of this summer window. The 22-year-old is a target for many of Europe's top clubs ahead of this summer transfer window, after a really impressive campaign in Portugal. The Uruguayan has scored 34 goals in 41 matches this season, which has gained him a massive attention and according to Todo Vigaches, PSG are in the lead for his signature. The French club are on the lookout for a replacement for superstar Kylian Mbappé, who looks set to join his boyhood club, Real Madrid, this summer. Nunes seems to be the Paris club's preferred option. According to The Athletic, Nunes has generated serious interest from Man United, with a firm expectation that the Benfica man will leave this summer. United are also on the lookout for a striker this summer, as Edinson Cavani and possibly others look set to leave the club. Benfica would like a deal to be completed early in the market, so a replacement can be bought before the transfer window shuts and according to Todo Vigaches, the Portuguese side have demanded 100 million euros for the transfer, but a deal could be done for a figure close to 70 million euros. PSG and Nunes are closer than ever and the arrival of the Uruguayan could be rushed in the next few days. This report is a blow for us. Man United is trying everything to sign Frankie de Jong, 
Eric Ten Hag wants him. Manchester United are trying everything to sign Barcelona midfielder Frankie de Jong this summer. Reputed journalist Florian Plattenberg claims the Red Devils are set to pursue a defensive midfielder with Nemanja Matic and Paul Pogba expected to leave at the expire of their contract in June. De Jong has recently emerged as the prime target and is now reported that the club are trying everything to bring him to Old Trafford. Eric Ten Hag also wants to reunite with his former Ajax midfielder but there is still a major stumbling block towards a summer transfer. While talks have been held between the clubs, Barcelona manager Xavi Hernandez has no plans of losing the 25-year-old services. Ten Hag is likely to demand more technical players in the squad and De Jong would be an ideal acquisition for the midfield department. The Dutchman is excellent with the ball at his feet and has completed over 91% of his passes for Barcelona throughout the La Liga season. He has averaged just over one tackle per game, but it has been primarily from playing in a central midfield position for the Blue Grana. During his time at Ajax, he was a genuine holding midfielder, and Ten Hag may have plans of integrating him into a similar role at United. It has been reported that he could be priced away for around 70 million euros, but there could be plenty of hurdles in their pursuit this summer. First of all, Chaffee does not want to lose De Jong. There are also suggestions that the midfielder wants to continue at Camp Nou next season. If he were to be pushed through the exit door, he may miss the Champions League. Hence, a deal seems pretty difficult to pull through, but United still seem determined to make an approach for the Netherlands star. I will be uploading daily Man United news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.